I'm Sherry Hughes, and I was diagnosed in 2023 with breast cancer. So I had my normal yearly mammogram in November, and I received the letter that stated that my breast tissue was dense and that suggested I have an ultrasound, I think it's called an APIS, or also maybe talk to my doctor. So I did a little bit of research and talked to my doctor and decided that I think I did want to do that for a peace of mind. Sherry is a patient who came to see me last year. She had been seen by her gynecologist and had the appropriate annual breast examination, which looked fine. She had her annual screening mammogram, which looked fine. However, she had dense breast tissue and her gynecologist appropriately ordered an ABUS, automated breast ultrasound, which is needed for women who have increased density in their breast tissue. This ABUS located something that was four millimeters in size, so tiny, that was not seen on the mammogram. Because it was seen on the ABUS, then further testing was done with a directed ultrasound, and it suggested that this was a suspicious area. So I saw her, and on that same day that I met her, we performed an ultrasound, got a biopsy, and unfortunately this was a breast cancer. Fortunately, it was found very early. So she was able to undergo breast conservation therapy, meaning she had a lumpectomy instead of a mastectomy, and the breast cancer had not spread to lymph nodes. ABUS was huge with my diagnosis. Uh, again, mammogram was clear, and ABUS found something that the mammogram patent, it was found before it got to grow for another year, before I had my next mammogram. Um, and of course, researching, I found that like 40% of women have dense breast tissue, and also that cancer can hide in that denseness, which means they don't always see that on the mammograms. Um, it's crucial to uh, early detection. I met Sherry uh, some time ago in the oncology clinic. And so when a patient like her comes in uh, after a diagnosis of breast cancer, we help them uh, navigate what to do either before or after surgery and what medications that they might need. Um, Sherry, fortunately, was found to have uh, an early stage estrogen receptor positive, HER2 negative breast cancer. And uh, fortunately, she was able to undergo surgery, uh, adjuvant radiation therapy, and, and then beyond medical therapy afterwards uh, since it was an early stage ER positive breast cancer. Well, I would like to say to all the ones that took care of me, thank you. You know, again, it was uh, not a path that I had been down before, so it was very, uh, I was anxious about it, even though I do a lot of research, but they answered everything and they made it as easy as they could. Um, they're phenomenal. They really do uh, ease the anxiety. Thank you.